And I'm just talking to your TV, whoever might be listening. No, I can wear my, I go, I put my bathing suit on, get the pool, show my naked feet, don't bother me. You're going you to swim your right way on to the lake. That's right. God said, cover that mess up. Right. Put some clothes on you. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Saints got to be different. Amen. That's the Bible. That's right. See, he didn't name the name of Christ apart from iniquity. So we're supposed to mind the same rule. The Bible tells us how to live. Once we baptize in Jesus' name and feel the Holy Ghost, we fall on a different rule. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. We fall on a different rule. The rules are different. Mm -hmm. College football rules and professional football rules are different. They're not the same. See? You get pass interference in the pros, you get the ball where the interference took place, right? If it's on, you get the ball where the interference took place. In college, pass interference, you just get 10 yards. So the rules are different. So when, so when a person outside of God, he don't intend for them to walk in sin, but the rules govern us, don't govern them. Amen. Uh, so, so a brother ain't got no Holy Ghost, they're pretty much doing what they want to do. They, they ain't governed by God because they ain't in him. But when they get in God, then the Lord said, look, I got a different set of rules for you. That's right. You are you, my blood. He said, you brought with a price. I done paid for you. Hey, so it's a different rule book. Thank you, Jesus. So Paul said, walk by the same rule, mind the same thing. That's what he said. Isn't it right? Amen. Why? We got to be honest. We as individuals, listen, this ain't no group thing. It's a problem tonight, one on one. Every individual, you must be honest with God with your daily walk with Him. You must be honest with it. Don't you worry about me. Don't worry about me. Take care of yourself. You be honest. See, you be, I can't be honest with you. All I can do is teach you all the word, feed you the word, and it's up to you to eat it, digest it. And then let it lead you. That's up to you. That's right. See? That's why Paul said in the book of Corinthians, he said, examine yourself. Mm -hmm. Paul said, check your own self out. He said, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Hmm? Examine yourself if your life pleases with God. Everybody got the Holy Ghost. You know, you, if you got the Holy Ghost, he started talking to you as soon as you get it. See, that one thing get me. Took me. Folks, what did? No. When God filled you with the Holy Ghost, he started talking. And something ain't right, he started talking. You hear me? <laughs> Boy, y'all looking at me funny. If you doing something not quite right, he'll tell you. Uh-uh. And but a lot of times people override him. No, he told you. He did it. That's why you got it. That's right. He said when he come, he'll guide you up. What he say he'll do? I'm gonna guide you. I don't like to be with you. Nobody else like to be with you. When the minute you think about doing something wrong, or anything wrong, he'll start moving right there. Uh-uh. Oh, no, no. Tell you all the time. And I don't be with you, then I'll come right on in the church and preach on what you start doing, and I won't with you. Then God oh, you need to say, oh, Lord, Jesus, it was you. He turned it up. I don't know what folks be doing. I just preach what he gives me. And if it finds you, that let you know right there. Tighten up. That means I got to get rid of you. Pull one more notch in your belt. Mm -hmm. Tighten it on up. Ain't that right? Amen. That's what the word is for. That's right. <laughs> Why do y'all look at me funny? I'm going to have a call up here. <laughs> he said, let us walk by the same rule. Mm -hmm. Let us mind the same things. Every apostolic church on the face of the earth is going to be teaching the same thing. We don't know each other. Amen. That's right. Every apostolic church on the planet is going to be walking the same way. We don't know each other. We're supposed to walk the same way. Because why? Because we got the same spirit. It never supposed to be a division among baptized in Jesus' name people. When you find it, you find flesh. The Bible said walk in the spirit. Uh -huh. And you won't fulfill the lust of your flesh. People fulfill the lust of the flesh because they willingly do it. Willingly walking in it. Willingly disobedient. Willingly not being honest before God. And that's just hard truth. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Uh, let's look.
look at some examples of our Paul talking about his past. Now, we're going to let our past hold us down. This man shouldn't have been an apostle. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have wrote 14 letters to the church because Paul had a past. Look at somebody and say, look, your past don't even come close to Apostle Paul. Now, we're going to read this. Your past to him is just like kindergarten. This man had a past. And to show you what God will do for a person with a past, God will clean you up and make a crack in a preacher. Amen. Yep. A man can murder somebody. God can save him, give him the Holy Ghost, set him on fire and preach. Because we're going to talk about one in the Bible. Amen. Lord help me. A sister can have the worst reputation in the planet, on the planet. God can clean her up and she'll show you how to live right. That's a God I serve. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, ah. Lord help mercy. That's God I serve. Y'all hear me? Y'all looking at me like he ain't even real. Thank you, Jesus. Give me Acts chapter 5, Acts chapter 7, and verse 58. Y'all turn with me. Acts chapter 7. And verse number 58. Here we have Apostle Paul, one of the greatest apostles to ever pen scripture. A heavily anointed man, deep in the mystery of godliness. Great revelation about Jesus, this Apostle Paul. But look at his pants. Look at the past Paul had. Look at what God delivered him from. Those viewing us, turn your Bibles with us. The Bible said in Acts 7 and 58, here you have one of God's servants preaching. Stephen. Stephen was a preaching deacon. And he preached God's word to the point that these Pharisees stoned him to death. They killed him because of the gospel. Now, Paul didn't throw a stone, but he took care of the cops of the one that did kill him. He was an accessory to murder. He was a partaker of it. Some people won't commit this stuff. They partake with people that do do mm -hmm. just as guilty. That's right. Take a man rob a bank. And he got the gun and he go in and he get the money and he run to the car. Well, the getaway driver will get just as much time. That's right. He didn't have a gun, didn't go in the bank, but he drove him away from us. He had to lock you down too. Mm -hmm. Both of you get 99 years. See? Just as guilty. But verse 58, read. And cast him out of the city. Stephen, they stoned him and cast him out of the city to kill him, read. And the witnesses laid down their coats. And all night. the witnesses that were participating in the killing laid down their clothes at a young man's feet who what? Whose name was Saul. Saul. Paul standing up being a partaker of it. Mm -hmm. And he talking about a past. He standing up being a partaker of it. I'm trying to show y'all forgiveness. Hallelujah. I'm going to show you the, the, the loving forgiveness of Jesus. See, if Jesus wasn't a forgiving God, I wouldn't be in this pulpit. If Jesus wasn't a forgiving God, you all that are saved, you wouldn't be saved. Because mm -hmm. he'll look at my, he'll definitely, he would have definitely looked at my past hey, and said, not you. He would have definitely checked me off. But thank God Jesus ain't like a man. Thank you, Lord. Ain't you glad Jesus ain't hey. like a man? Thank you, Lord. Well, the man and walk man, I'd be in hell. Hallelujah. But Jesus said, no, I'm, I got heaven for you. See? If it hadn't had been for Jesus having the mercy that he had, I wouldn't be here. And you wouldn't be sitting where you are. You know why? Because I am not worthy. Mm -hmm. I am not worthy. To stand and proclaim his gospel. It's only by the grace and mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, it's by his grace. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. Ain't nobody worthy. We're not worthy of salvation. Amen. It's by mercy. That's what 